Can sad tales become happy ones? Common question. In village Behar, central India, weaver Mangali Prasad is a happy man. Though he owns less than an acre of land, hardly enough to feed a family of seven. That is why I went to the city to earn. Worked as a carpet weaver for years. Far away from home. It was difficult. Problems of wages, living. All that headache is over. Now I work from home. The money is assured. It's less, but I'm spending less. And I'm doing what I like doing. Mangali hopes his changed fate will spare his son from being dragged to the city to earn and survive. About 12 million people are added to urban areas every year. Most of them are migrants. Long ago, Mahatma Gandhi had said, rural India is poor because there is no work in rural India. The dynamics are working for consumer products that have nothing to do with basics like food and water for the poor. The richest 10% of India is consuming 34% of the nation's output. Something like 8,200 crore rupees are spent on advertising alone. The tilted balance is exploitative. Every day when you start a new day, look forward to what the very new day holds for you and move on. Plans revolve around the visible symptoms of disparity. They do not look at the root cause of alternative employment for the deprived. Naturally, many of the rural poor have just become legitimized, neglected vote banks in urban slums. In a New Delhi slum, Pipin Kumar feels blessed with ready access to free water and electricity. His father, Vijay Kumar, is an upper caste landowner from Bihar. He inherited just a small share of land that was washed away in floods. Like others, he came to the city with his sons and dreams. Bipin has no skills. He and millions of other migrants make a living somehow. The choices are not theirs. But far away in Chitrakoot, an experiment in rural self-reliance now enables people like Mangali to make a choice. I'm not being cheated by some carpet trader. I'm not a laborer getting paid less than my due. They give me the raw material, pay me on time. Selling is not my headache. There is no risk, no danger. I don't need to go to the city anymore. That's what I keep telling everyone. Once a migrant, Mangali is one of the first to benefit from the plan of alternative off-farm employment. This is village Barhamawan in Madhya Pradesh. The statistics could be nearly the same anywhere a small population of 300 people, 50% landless, 100% below the poverty line, with no means to earn, no food for their children. By 2001, India was ranked 124th on the Human Development Index. Meanwhile, people didn't dare to dream or hope. This village had glorious ancestors, the largest number of freedom movement martyrs in any one place in the state of Madhya Pradesh. 
every inhabitant of Barhamawan may well ask, what did free India give us? The obvious answer is nothing. They say India lives in her seven lakh villages. Every third Indian below the poverty line lives like the people of Barhamawan. What is worse, the Human Development Report says 44% of the population is in poverty. That actually means almost every second Indian. It need not be like that. Things can be different. At 86, Nanaji Deshmukh, a nominated member of the Upper House of Parliament, is striving to regenerate rural areas into thriving centers of economic activity. The Chitrakoot campaign covers a radius of 50 kilometers. Patni, in a micro-watershed area, is one of the 80 villages experiencing the full thrust of a campaign to achieve self-reliance by 2005. The remaining 420 villages are targeted to achieve it by 2009. <laughs> कि पूरा समाज कैसा होना चाहिए तो ये मिलकर के एक किस प्रकार मानव का जीवन बराबर विकसित हो सकता है सुखी हो सकता है आनंदमय हो सकता है उपकारक हो सकता है Here at Patni people have reason to believe Nanaji that development can take place by one's own effort in one's own lifetime. Kamta is a farmer in Patni. Kamta now heads a self-help group of five farmers. They have paid back a loan of over 16,000 rupees and now earn by renting the diesel engine to other farmers. गोहूं पाके लाग और चाना सरसों राई ये सब हो लाग पैसा मत बदल या पहले खान हरे कहावत रहा है अब कुछ भी नहीं चले ही थे चाना गे हूं कामता no longer needs to go and sell fuel wood in the nearby town he not only has enough to eat now he even sells grain and saves some money every year. Until a few years ago, people at Patni walked five to six kilometers just to get drinking water. Today, wheat and rice yields have doubled and almost 60% of the population has been able to rise above the poverty line. Eager to cultivate, villagers are now even staking claim to barren forest land. The Milli Watershed Program was the first step in the self-reliance campaign. The belief is that only permanent solutions for poverty will self-motivate people towards concepts of health and education. सोचा गया ग्रेटेस कूड ऑफ द ग्रेटेस नंबर लेकिन हिंदुस्तान ने कहा नहीं सर्वे भवन तो सुखी सभी सुखी हो यहाँ का चिंतन सबके सुख का है जब लोग आते हैं तब बताना चाहिए ना जब वो आए रहे हैं यहीं आए रहे हैं ह्यूमन बीइंग हैज फीलिंग Human being is not only economic, human being is emotional. 
Economy is a must. Nobody can reject it. But economy with emotion, betterment for all, not for myself alone. So that is the concept on which the Jindra Institute is working. With this spirit, the Chitrakoot experiment is also mapping its long-term targets. People here are still blessed with forest wealth. Villagers with indigenous knowledge are trained to collect medicinal plants for the DRI Ayurvedic Center. Scientists are engaged in a dual task. Establishing norms for Ayurvedic medicines is one, but the thrust is to create a record of reference. It will ultimately be one of the largest databases of indigenous herbs and roots. Patent ka or patent ke jo advantages hai, wo kin ko milne chahiye, kis tarikhe se milne chahiye. Ye sahi direction mein agar iska istemal nahi hoga, aage aane wala jo samay hai, usme bahut saare problems ho jayenge. अपना जो ऑब्जेक्ट है वो यही है कि फिंगरप्रिंट्स लेकर के पेटेंट करा करके पेटेंट की जो भी राशि मिलती है वो हम विलेजर्स तक पहुंचाएं उनके लिए उन्हीं की चीजों से उन्हीं को लाभ पहुंचाना लॉन्ग बिफोर इंडिया बिकेम इंडिपेंडेंट गांधी हैड वॉन द नेशन दैट इकोनॉमिक्स व्हिच हर्ट द मॉरल वेलबीइंग ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल और नेशन are immoral and therefore sinful. Such concepts faded when political freedom was confused with independence. The real enemy was within, a de-skilled, poor nation that was forgotten in the euphoria of reaching new heights. We adopted the constitution of parliamentary democracy of those who ruled this country for more than 150 years. Means the real power of the people was not utilized for the development of the country. They were told by these politicians that you do not do anything. Please give us out. Please give us power. And when we come to power, we will solve your all the difficulties and we will provide you all the necessities. Before the Great Industrial Revolution, India was the second biggest industrial power after China. By 1947, India had lost her rural industrial base and had, unfortunately, inherited an administration designed for control and exploitation. The visionary system of five-year plans was tipped in favour of heavy industry. Rural industry was neglected. And the belief was that agriculture did not have the potential to reduce poverty in New India. By the 1960s, India had to import food grain. Within decades, millions of the rural agricultural workforce was unemployed. Industry did not absorb the unequipped. Today I tell you we are practically working on a wrong path. Fiber plants are based only on economics. Only economic is not the life of the people. That is why even after the nine plants, People are dying of hunger. More than 35% people are below poverty line. Trickle-down industrial development, largely based on the erstwhile Soviet model, has been consistently questioned. Domestic problems still remain severe. Meanwhile, the urban-rural divide has reached grotesque proportions. Urbanization and the rural areas, they have to be complementary to each other. You take into consideration the whole globe. The base is village. Cities and towns 
are the centers of consumption they are not the centers of really production because for production the necessity the first element is required is the natural resources and natural resources are confined only to the rural areas chitrakoot in the heartland of india this is decoit country once rich in forests on which the tribal population thrived it is one of the poorest areas in the country today falling within the two states of madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh chitrakoot is also a place of pilgrimage during religious festivals the visiting population increases tenfold in the indian epic ramayan the chitrakoot episode is a highlight in the life of the godlike king ram exiled from his rightful kingdom the dutiful son reached the forests of chitrakoot the forest dwellers were his strength and he spent his days teaching them the art of self rule the godlike king ram is nanaji deshmukh's inspiration born in 1916 a bachelor nanaji shunned manipulative politics and set up the din dayal research institute in 1977 Pandit Din Dayal, a thinker and contemporary of Nanaji, died early. His philosophy of integral humanism is the basis for the rural reconstruction that Nanaji has initiated in many parts of India, including Chitrakoot. The Chitrakoot campaign for self-reliance is now gearing up for ISO certification. It is the first developmental project in the world to do so and DRI is in the unique position of formulating its own parameters for evaluation. At Chitrakoot no visitor can miss the entrepreneur training center that aims to be a model for alternative industrialization. जहाँ पे बड़ा इंडस्ट्री लग गया वहाँ पे अपने को तीन चीज़ें देखने को मिलता है एक है डिस्पारिटी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट और पोल्यूशन तो हम लोग ऐसे उद्योगों का स्थापना यहाँ करना चाहते हैं जिस पर डिस्पारिटी ना हो हर व्यक्ति एक समान रहे और आदमी अनएम्प्लॉयड ना रहे हर व्यक्ति के पास काम हो और पोल्यूशन ना हो आज की स्थिति ये है कि हम लोग खुद प्रॉफिट मेकिंग यूनिट्स में हैं तब जाके हम लोग रूरल यूथ को लेकर आते हैं फिर ट्रेनिंग देते तो वो बच्चा को उसके ऊपर विश्वास होता है Attracting the youth is not easy. This area had no manufacturing unit in a radius of 50 kilometers. Things are changing. Catalysts have now been triggered through the entrepreneur center. Nathu is one of them. After doing my MA in political science, I went to Mumbai. Worked there as a tailor. Father took ill. I did come home to his dead body. I was very upset. What's the use of working away from home I thought. Then I got a chance to be trained here. But then I left. Then came back. Anyway, now I'm a supervisor. I have already trained 30 people in food processing, 20 women in tailoring. My wife and some other women are also going to come and learn baking and soap making. Then we'll set up units in the village. The Ramnath Ashram Shala is one of the schools under the self-reliance campaign. Like these students, many tribal children in the region now attend schools with hostel facilities. Children are motivated to work and earn. Apart from studies, they are encouraged to make products of daily use, like soap, that the school buys from them. By the final 8th class here, economic pressures often restrict further study. But meanwhile, children do acquire some basic skills.
हमारे हिसाब से हम ये चाहते हैं कि बच्चा स्वावलंबी बने पढ़ लिख करके वो सरकार का मुहनत आके कि हमें सर्विस मिल जाए हम कुछ कमाएं घर के लिए हम ये चाहते हैं कि वो संस्कारित हो उसमें देशभक्ति की भावना हो और वो स्वावलंबी हो उसको भटकना ना पड़े वो निहा से निकलने के बाद स्वयं अपना कुछ व्यवसाय कर सके स्वयं कुछ काम कर सके उसकी मांग हो समाज में आवाज क्यों निकलती है कैसे निकलती है Inspiring children to learn is an uphill task for educational field workers like Pradeep, an MSc with a bachelor's in education. They constantly adapt teaching methods on the basis of an IQ analysis of 80 villages. कुछ सुनाई दिया? There is curiosity. What is making things work? It is the unique concept of salaried graduate couples, permanently stationed in the villages, to steer the campaign. Anil and Shalini Shukla are one such couple. Anil Shukla, an MA in business economics, worked as an assistant professor before he came to work in village Bihar. He is the nodal point for the weaver Mangali, for whom he ensures regular supplies and payment. The comfort level of the former migrant, Mangali, back in the village, is directly linked to the efficiency of the Shukla couple. Among their many activities, Anil and Shalini coordinate with health workers, who provide indigenous medicines for routine ailments. They maintain daily records, spend informal time with the people, and are constantly working towards spreading awareness. They are taught, don't depend upon anybody. Don't depend upon the planning or the government. Nobody is going to improve you. You will have to be self-reliant. Unless or until you become self-reliant, no economic development possible. The Green Revolution of India brought about self-sufficiency in food grains. But the population has grown faster than food grain production. And with a growing population, land has been consistently divided into smaller fragments. Cultivators and agricultural labourers form about 65% of the working population. But even today, nearly 70% of the crop land remains without irrigation and is solely dependent on the monsoon. Is all this an echo from a warning voice of the past? Way back in 1830, a British Governor General Metcalf said, the union of village communities has contributed more than any other to the preservation of the peoples of India. And I dread everything that has a tendency to break them up. Seventy years later, Gandhi wrote his treatise on self-rule for India. He was convinced that if the villages perished, India would perish too. Political leaders like Nehru did not disregard Gandhi, but firmly believed that the river of change cannot be stopped and India could not revert to primitiveness. Nanaji is convinced that rural India can once again flourish. He believes when people uplift themselves, politics and administration itself will change and the system will have to deliver. Agriculture and industry together can not only reduce, it can wipe out the poverty totally. I am showing it. You go to the villages and you can see. Now the uneconomic holdings, we have made economic, you go and see. The efforts of the Agricultural Science Centres are intensive. All 80 villages under the Self-Reliance campaign were mapped and analysed with inputs from the villagers. 
The aim is to fill the gap between indigenous and scientific methods. In village Ludwara, Revati Raman is proud of his model two and a half acre farm. Revati owns 10 acres of land, but as he says, I have four sons. They will get a small share of two and a half acres each. So I'm experimenting with this model for their future, giving them inspiration. Three fourths of agricultural land in India is uneconomical. The lives of marginal farmers can be transformed if such model farms are replicated with support like seed replacement. In सात सालों के अंदर जो बीज का replacement हुआ है, उसके हिसाब से चौरानवे पचानवे का जो production हमारा दो कुंटल पर हेक्टेयर का था, आज बढ़कर के चार पांच कुंटल पर हेक्टेयर का हो चुका है. But millions of marginalized and landless farmers like Rahman must survive. Rahman lives in village Buddha Semarwar. We were five brothers. Naturally, I got less than an acre. But prosperity has come since we started poultry farming. The agricultural center trained Rahman's wife in backyard poultry farming. Today, Badrun Nisa is an example for Rahman's brothers and other villagers. If there is economic benefit, she says, others will follow. Gandhi spoke of democracy and village development in terms of oceanic circles. Today, it is fashionably called the ripple effect. Namdev and Gon tribal Shivcharan both live in village Patnakala. Patnakala was not part of the Mili watershed project, but the people had seen the impact in neighboring areas. They wanted it for themselves too. Namdev and his wife, the graduate couple, have worked here for almost five years. Namdev's greatest joy is the water channel that the community built. With their own engineering wisdom, they redirected the water source through a four kilometer long water channel. Every field has water now. People have really tasted bread made of wheat. The question then is, can targets be really achieved in five years? Five years, किसी भी एक काम के लिए ये पर्याप्त समय है और हम लोगों ने ये अनुभव किया है कि सामूहिक प्रयत्न से समाज के सहयोग से किसी भी काम को पांच वर्ष में पूरा किया जा सकता है। Obviously, it is not plans but people who matter. The bureaucracy of free India inherited an unsustainable trend that distances people from plans and policies. Chitrakoot once again raises the question Gandhi raised at the time of independence. Will India humbly step back into its villages for a secure future?